Hi, it's Dave Rudin. And yesterday, the CIAC did its virtual honoring of all of its Scholar Athlete Award winners. And there were 34 from the FCAC, one male, one female from each school. And what I want to try to do this week, since they're not getting as much recognition as they normally would, is give a little bit of a platform here and, and talk to a few of the winners and let you all get to know them well. And uh, one of the athletes here, winners that, that I got to cover a lot, interviewed a few times before and know pretty well is Chris Caratu from the New Canaan football team. So Chris, uh, thanks for taking the time and congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. You, uh, I mean, you've, you've been very well accomplished and got a lot of recognition for your playing football. What does it mean when you get an award that also recognizes what you do in the classroom? Um, it's great. Honestly, just um, nice to see, you know, reflecting the work that is done in the classroom, kind of behind the scenes that, you know, people don't see that often. Um, so, yeah, definitely great to receive an award for that manner. It's got, obviously, New Canaan has a lot of great student athletes. So for, for the school to pick you to repre represent, it has to mean a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, the school is filled with people who are, you know, amazing on the field and then in the classroom as well. To, so to receive that award um, definitely means a lot to me. And um, definitely big thanks to the New Canaan community for giving it to me. And we, we all know, uh, or those of those of us who follow FCAC football know about what you've done on the field. You were fifth in the state in sacks this past year and helped lead the school to a nice run in the state playoffs and, and been part of uh, one of the most successful programs in the state. What about uh, academically? What, what are some of the areas of interest for you? What, what classes do you like most? Yeah, so um, this year I would say I'm really liking – physics so AP physics with Mr. Reed has been an amazing experience just really to learn how you know the world works through math is just incredible to see you know going into the course it's not something that um, I don't think anybody had a lot of background in and um, it's really opened my eyes and talking to my classmates I think it has done the same for them so um, definitely a big area of interest for me this year. Okay, well, if you're into physics, that, that ends the conversation here for me for any follow-up questions about that. That's, that's way over my academic grade there. But uh, uh, you're going to MIT. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that academically. What, what led you to decide to go there? Yeah, so, I mean, what really stood out to me was when I went on my visit to MIT. Um, so we got to stay overnight with some of the players in their dorms. And, you know, obviously, like, MIT – as this, you know, at least to me, I was expecting it to be kind of these kids that were going to be a little bit antisocial, maybe not, you know, hang out too much. But um, I, I mean, it was such a great time after the game. Um, we got to stay overnight in the dorms, and you know, the kids were amazing. The, like the social life was incredible. Got to hang out in the fraternities. It was, just, like, it was just a great experience overall. And then, really, the collaborative atmosphere of MIT is something that really stood out to me. Um, some of the schools I looked at, the, I don't know, it seemed kind of cutthroat where people were just looking out for themselves and, you know, not backsagging each other, but doing stuff to get ahead. Whereas MIT, it's, everyone's working together, one common goal. And um, yeah, I love that. So that was, that was a big deal to me. And then obviously the football program was it, like the coach was amazing. The, the players I met with were extremely nice. So, um, there was nothing I didn't love about it. So that's what, you know, led me to make my decision overall. A lot of the discussion right now, and there are actually a lot of stories in the newspaper yesterday are just uh, not only are, are seniors right now and senior athletes in a difficult situation in terms of things you're missing out on, but I guess there's, it's a new landscape because nobody really knows what's going to happen in the fall with colleges and, and things like that. Uh, is that anything you, you've really thought about, or is that uh, kind of something you're just going to have to, like everything else, wait and see what happens? Yeah, it's definitely been something that's been on the top of my head recently. Um, I guess the biggest thing is hopefully, you know, we're able to have a football season in the fall and, um, you know, be on campus to start school rather than having to continue with online classes. Um, 
but yeah, like you said, it's something that we just kind of have to wait and see, but we're all hoping for the best. And, um, you know, we're still even hoping that we'll, we'll get a few more days of high school and be able to return in May, but, um, I mean, it's looking unlikely, but you know, we're, we're just hoping for the best and hoping we can get all together one last time. What about, uh, let's get a little sports in here too, uh, cause you're also one for your athletic ability, but, uh, you, you had a sensational year this year for, uh, New Canaan, you know, like I said, you were fifth in the state in sacks. What, uh, it's such a special program. What, what did it mean to you to be a part of it? Oh, I mean, really everything. I, like football was probably like, I mean, the things in football are the best memories I've had throughout high school. It's just an unbreakable family that all the guys on the team, I mean, honestly couldn't ask for better players to be around and then the coaching staff too. Just amazing. They're, I mean, they're the reason why we're able to have success we've had and um yeah I mean they've they've led us through all our you know all our accomplishments and you know helped us achieve the goals that we had from beginning to the end of the season so um just being part of that program throughout high school has really been an incredible experience and anyone who's going into New Canaan and you know thinking about joining the football program I would 100% recommend it there's not a single bad thing I could say about it you have a favorite memory there weren't one, 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 one game, anything that stands out most. I mean, there's a lot I'm sure to choose from. There is a lot, but I would have to say uh, this past year, the Turkey Bowl. <laughs> I you're going to say that one. Yeah, I mean, it was incredible <laughs> being on the field after with all the fans rushing on. So, and being a senior too for that, uh, I mean, that was, that was incredible. I loved it. That's got to be my, my top memory from this year. Then, um, yes. Great. I'll remember that for a while. <laughs> okay, how many times did Coach Marinelli help you with your physics? Uh, you know, <laughs> like, like four times a week, I would say. Yeah, I, I, I figured you probably, you know, if you, you had a question, you could get tutored right before uh, film yeah. work, right? Yeah, he's always there for help. He, he's got everything. <laughs> he, knows, he knows all the answers. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, Chris, uh, like I said, I've, I've gotten to know you. I actually wrote a feature about you during the postseason. And uh, not only have you been a great athlete, but you've been a class act. And obviously now, as everybody has learned, you've been outstanding in the classroom as well. And that's really what's most important. So congratulations on uh, your award. Well-deserved. Best of luck to you in the future. And uh, we'll be following you at MIT. Thanks for talking to me now. Thank you so much for having me.